Question seven. The diagram shows a cube with edges of length x centimeters and a sphere of radius three centimeters. So we've got a cube x centimeters, a sphere with a radius of three centimeters. Surface area of a sphere is this. Surface area of sphere is four pi r squared. So we've got that information. The surface area of the cube is equal to the surface area of the sphere. Show that x equals square root of k pi, where k is an integer. So let's look at this. So the surface area of the cube is equal to the surface area of the sphere. So we've got this equals to that surface area, and we've got this formula. So What's the surface area of a cube? Well, we've got, this is a square, so this is going to be x times x. So if I look at the front side, the front is x times x is x squared. Now, if I look at how many sides there are, we've got front and back. So back, and that this should be front. This is x squared, because it's a cube, it's the same. We've got a right side and a left side. Right and left. And they are both the same. We also have a top side and a bottom side. Top. and bottom. So really we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we add these together, this is six x squared. So this is six x squared. Okay, so that's how we got that. So the surface area of the cube, which is six x squared, is equal to the surface area of the sphere. So for the sphere, we're gonna use this formula. So sphere, surface area of the sphere equals 4 times pi times r. r is 3, so 3 squared. So 3 squared is 9. 3 times 3 is 9, so 4 times pi times 9. 9 times 4 is 36, so this is 36 pi. So the surface area of the cube is equal to the surface area of the sphere. So this equals to that, 36 pi. Show that. So it's giving us the answer. We want to get to that. So show that means we have to show this. So now I need to somehow do this. So I'm going to make, because it's x equal to, I'm making x the subject. So I'm going to remove the 6. So I've got divide by 6 here on both sides. So this is x squared equals 36 divided by 6 is 6 pi. Now notice k, k is an integer, so you can see 6 is there. The next thing I need to do, the last thing I need to do, is what's the inverse opposite of squaring, which is square rooting. So I need to square root x squared, square root this, so this now becomes x, and this is in the format of that square root kx, so it stays as it is 6 pi. 6, k is an integer, so 6 is my integer, and this is worth corn marks. So for showing this part here, um, 6x squared, showing a surface area of the cube, that's a method mark. So if you had that, the second mark is for showing the surface of a sphere. So this is the second mark. And then the third mark is this part here is your third mark. And then the final mark is for getting to this part here. Why did I write x squared? So this is the final mark a x equal to six square root six pi.